What do you say? Let's go to Germany. Let's go to your favorite team. I don't know, it used to be Germany, but it's changing the whole time. Yeah, yeah Germany. Brazil. 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 Yeah. Hey guys, alright? How are you? Is it going? Mm. Cool. <laughs> this is a nice way to worm or weasel, if you prefer, your way into the group. Um, if you approach the woman that you're interested in right away, it's, it's a little bit too obvious and the guys are going to immediately be on guard. Yeah, they'll get defensive. And it's also a nice way that, to see that he can interact with her friends. Yeah, especially if you can win them over and they like you and would kind of vouch for you. Hey man, how's it going? I swear to God, I've seen you down at my gym, Gold's Gym. Do you, do you work out there? No, 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 I work in LA Fitness. LA Fitness, how about that man? Like, you look pretty hench. Do you, do you, what, what do you bench? 130 kilograms. 130 kilograms, that's amazing. That's amazing, I bench like 80. How do I get up to, how do I get up to 130? Just hard working and determination. Mm, uh, yeah, thanks for the advice man. Really, really, really appreciate it. That's fantastic. You're welcome, you're welcome. So, what's going on for about the gym life in the gym all the time? Uh, you know, like talking to women about shoes, talking to tough guys about gyms and, you know, what they do for workouts and stuff is normally a safe option. And it's always good to get some common ground between him and the friends. Definitely. Hey, so anyway, my name's Leo. Nice to meet you. Jack. Jack. Your name? Valde. Valde, cool name, man. Yeah. Over here? Pete. Pete, nice to meet you, Pete. I'm Leo. And your name? Anastasia. Anastasia, very nice to meet you, Anastasia. Nice to meet you too. So, uh, how do you guys all know each other? Oh, we work together. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. Which one is the boss? I'm the boss. You're the boss. Oh my yeah. God! You got to tell me, like, uh, who's who's the favorite person in your team? Who's your favorite? Oh, I think it's him. Why, is he the hardest he's worker? He's amazing, yeah. He's not the best looking, this guy is. No, all of them are good. <laughs> yeah. All of them are perfect. Right, yeah. What is it? What are you talking about? I'm not really. What about you? Um, I don't work for your team. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. know. What, what are you doing any? Here? Have you got any positions opening up that I can fill? Um, I think I'll, I can think about it. Right, cool. Definitely. Cool. What position would you like? Well, what have you got? <laughs> what, sort of, what sort of work is it? Um, well, we work in a construction company. Construction? Building yeah. like, what, uh, houses, offices? Yeah, offices. Offices? No way. Like, any, anything around here you built? Um, around here, no. But right. in different other areas of the right, city. Cool. This is a classic question, it's the right option. Uh, asking how they know each other will immediately tell you if, for example, she's married or unavailable, uh, or if they're all just friends, you know, so it's a great question to have with any group. And it also might, you might find out how they met and it might just t give you another starting point to start a conversation. Definitely, yeah. Hey, so listen up, like, uh, my sister's a food blogger, she just messaged me, she says there's a new restaurant called Tuk Tuk opened up round the corner, like, do you like Malaysian food? Yeah, man, you're gonna love this place, they do like laksa, this enormous, enormous portion, it's like spicy coconut soup, it's got like chicken, seafood, noodles, it's got everything in there, like, tell you what, later on, if we're like a bit drunk, we can go there, like, soak up some of the booze, get some of the spicy food, you up for that? Yeah, yes. wicked, okay. let's do it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Guys, I've got this amazing talent. You're not gonna believe this, but I can guess people's ages within like maybe maybe a year either side. You don't believe me? Nah. You don't believe me? I bet you a round of shots that I can do this. I'm gonna guess your age. Okay. I'd say you're um, 42. Nah. How old are you? 23. Oh well, I guess shots are on me then. Okay. Come on, let's okay. go to the bar. Yeah. In this case, yeah, it's the right option. Uh, you are buying them shots. Uh, so, you know, in, you might want to replace this in real life if you don't have money to go buy everyone shots. But in this way, it's a great um, kind of 
way to infiltrate the group and you know start having a good time with all of them um, and disarm everyone and after you've done something nice for people it's hard for them to then kind of want to dismiss you. Yeah it's always good to be the party starter. Mm -hmm. Guys come on let's go around here let's get some shots what's everybody drinking come on it's my round it's my round hey Pete have I introduced you to, to someone? Uh, let, me, let me do it excuse me excuse me have you have you met my friend Pete? No, I haven't. I'm Pete. Hi. Hi, Pete. So, why don't you tell me more about yourself? <laughs> well, that's you. <laughs> I'm an arm wrestling champion. Me. Really? You want to go for it right now? No. Let's do it. Nasty, it's great to meet you. It's great to meet nice a girl who's so too. tall. And you carry it so well. Like, Thank you. Imagine in the future if we if we had kids and got married, those kids would be enormous. Yeah. By the way, when we are married, you're not you're not borrowing any of my clothes. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I, I prefer mine. I think they're much nicer well, than yours. You can take my shoes though. Yeah, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Anastasia, you know earlier when we were at the bar, you were kind of dismissive to me and uh, I thought you were maybe just like a rude person. But actually I'm glad I've had a chance to get to know you and see that you're actually a really cool person. Thank you. I think it's just good sometimes to give a person a second chance. Yeah. That's the right option because you've picked her up on you know what she's done wrong, but you've also shown that you're willing to give her a second chance. So yes, yeah, so I'm doing this festival in Twickenham. It's really good fun. You get like unlimited free posh food, champagne, oh, lobster, nice. steak. It's great in Twickenham, just hey. south of London. You should come. Thanks for the drink, Leo. But I think Anastasia is getting bored, so I think you should leave. Actually, I'm having a really good time here, and I think Anastasia is too. Yeah. So, I'm going to stay. So, we've got a potentially difficult situation here, and you chose the right option. You know, the guy's come in, obviously, he wants to get rid of you, and you've handled it correctly. Jake's supposed to bring documents at your table in the morning, so okay. that you sign it, and uh, for the project to go on. Okay. I suppose to have it by 10. No, you said you're going to bring it uh, before 9 o'clock. Okay, so that's perfect. Okay. Cool. Hey, so you said you work for a construction company, yeah? Yeah, I'm a supervisor. Cool, cool. What project are you working on at the moment? Um, for the office. Office buildings. You're building an office. How's, yeah. how's that going? Yeah, very good. Cool. You know my sister's actually an architect. Oh, really? Interesting. Great. Good job. This is the correct choice. It's always good to steer the conversation back. You don't want to be left at the sidelines not being able to get back into the conversation. And I guess if you do want to ruin something for another guy, you can just do the opposite and have a <laughs> private conversation with the object of his affection. Yep, jeopardise that for him. <laughs> Gosh, I feel a bit tipsy after this shot. <laughs> oh, what's this music? It's really nice. Do you know where it is? No, I have no idea. I want to go dancing. I love dancing. Let's go and dance together. Let's go.
this is great. And I think, you know, even if guys can't dance, that first they should learn at least some basics. But also in this case, you know, these tough guys don't look like big dancers. Uh, so it's a way to get her alone. And I think even if you're doing just the two-step, it shows confidence and it gives you some time with her. Okay, I don't know what. Hey, limbo! Everybody, let's have a limbo party! Rebecca, Pete, come on! Limbo, 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 limbo! Whoa. This is uh, one of the moves uh, Adam Lyons used to teach. He's like a famous UK dating coach. And the idea is that you kind of make the guys look pretty silly, but without being, so you get rid of them, but without being aggressive or, you know, doing anything that co could cause them room to complain. And you don't want to look like you're bullying her friends. Plus it's actually really funny. <laughs> I enjoyed that. I don't normally enjoy dancing, but that was that was fun. Thank you. Thanks, I enjoyed it too. And you're a real gentleman, but don't overdo it because I'm a feminist. Okay, well since you're a feminist, I'm not gonna order you a girly drink. Perfect. Uh, Barman, can we have two whiskeys over here, please? And I definitely describe myself as a feminist too. Like I believe in equality of opportunity for, for women. That's good. Yeah, I believe in equal pay for women. I mean, we're not going to send our kids to private school on exactly. a comedian's salary, are we? Yeah. <laughs> That's the right option. And, you know, he's elaborated a little bit and connected. Yeah, and there's really, you can't say that you're not a feminist. You know, there isn't, that, that isn't an option in this, in this case. Or to say that you don't agree with equality of opportunity. That's a big red flag. Oh, you know what? Uh, recently I signed this petition against oh, really? the sexist game on Steam, and I think you should do it too. Oh yeah, I've seen that game. My cousin loves it. Look, it's not as bad as it's portrayed in the media. Really, it's just oh, really? teaching men the social skills to, to form better relationships with women and to be honest with their intentions. I mean, look at, look at these guys you're with. They're all your friends, but you can tell they really want to get with you. I'm honest about the fact that I find you very attractive and I love spending time with you. Okay, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have signed it then. That's the right option, obviously. What else could you say here? Of course, it's a great game. So do you play any computer games yourself? No, not at the moment. But I used to play SimCity when I was younger. SimCity? I used to play that too. That must be why you moved into construction, am I right? Hey, time is up. You had your fun. Now, fuck off and leave me alone. Guys, it's 2022. She's a she's a feminist. She can make up her own mind. Anastasia, do you want me to go? No, guys, just take it easy. He's not a bad guy. I are prefer you, him to stay. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. You've got your own personal bodyguards. Yeah. 
Man, I would not want to tangle with you. <laughs> That's the right option, well done. And I like this one because, you know, she said that she's a feminist, she's obviously a strong, independent woman. So you're giving her the choice there. So this guy has come in to cause trouble and instead of it potentially escalating, uh, you're asking her to deal with it for you. Yeah, you're putting her in the higher status, giving her value and putting the ball in her court for her to control the situation. You know what? Just forget about the bar. Let's go straight to your house. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Nice one, you got the very best possible ending, so good job. This is a nice way to 